Welcome to a round of applause where we discuss a potpourri of canine topics. You're sure to find something to make your ears perk up just like your pooch. Your host and canine instructor, Janine Smith, educates both dogs and humans. Today's podcast barks about to spay or not to spay. That is the question. Pause to you for checking out this podcast on to spay or not to spay. That is the question. Or when to spay. This is definitely one of the most common questions I'm asked. Janine, when should I spay or neuter my dog? And in this podcast, I'll use those words interchangeably. Sometimes I will say spay, sometimes I'll say neuter. But basically, neutering would be for a male dog, and that's when the testicles are removed. For a female dog, it would be spaying the female. Her ovaries, fallopian tubes, and uterus are all removed. Obviously, the operation for the female is far more involved, but both operations will prevent the dogs from having puppies. And vets definitely recommend spaying and neutering. They recommend it for... Two reasons. One, they truly believe that it is medically better for the dog. And the other is they don't want to have dogs being added to the shelter population. So they don't want to have unwanted puppies born. And Lord knows in this country of the United States, that is an issue. So what should we do? People really struggle with this. Vets typically have recommended spaying a dog before the first heat cycle, so spaying before six months of age. Some vets then extended it to spaying after that heat cycle and spaying before a year. A few vets finally are getting the message that extending when the dogs are intact, which means not being spayed or neutered, is way better for the dogs. Think about it, guys. Like, What if humans were neutered before they hit sexual maturity and our body parts, our female or male body parts were completely ripped away? Would that affect our growth, our our autoimmune system? Would it affect how we were emotionally? Yes, yes, and yes. It's true for dogs as well. I've seen pictures of dogs who were spayed or neutered early, and I know that the shelters, their deal is they have to spay or neuter the dog before it leaves the shelter. Sometimes those are puppies as young as eight weeks of age, and they've already been spayed or neutered, which to me is really, really wrong. Um, But basically... You are stopping the growth hormones, causing the growth plates to close more slowly, which absolutely increases the risk of injuries to joints and bones. Sometimes a dog grows like a miniature version of what the norm is, but many times a dog will grow taller than the norm. There's an excellent study which has just been done by UC Davis. It was it took over 15 years and had over 40,000 dogs in its sample of over 35 different breeds. In this group, they looked at cancers, lymphoma, blood cancers, bone cancers, and most cell tumors. They looked at joint disorders, ligament tears, hip and elbow dysplasia, and urinary incontinence, where the dog just goes to the bathroom and they can't hold it. The new research has some common themes from former research, but there's also interesting breed-specific recommendations and for some gender-specific recommendations. I don't expect you to read all of this study, so let me give you the big takeaways that I had from reading it. All dogs spayed before six months of age have increased risk of health issues, whether it is cancer or joint issues or both. Again, let me say that again, all dogs before six months of age. Very bad idea. Females are more at risk than males. 
So think carefully about when to spay or if to spay at all. For most males, if you neuter before a year, you increase the risk of joint disorders. So those are kind of the big overall themes. But now let's kind of talk about some of the nitty gritty. A few of the popular breeds are breeds which are most at risk. Little pooches seem to have the easiest time of it. There's less risk for those joint disorders or cancers if you end up spaying or neutering. Exceptions are male Boston Terriers and male Shih Tzus. There is a significant increase in cancers with neutering at any age, so it is not recommended that you neuter Boston Terriers or Shih Tzus. Boxers and Golden Retrievers appear most at risk if you spay or neuter. Both breeds are very susceptible to cancers. The rate for any breed, whether it's a mixed or pedigree, is 50%. So we obviously have different factors which are affecting the health of our dogs. If 50% of all dogs at some time are going to get cancers. American Goldens, the rate is 60%. For boxers, it's almost one in two will develop cancer. My breed of choice is Goldens. So I was very anxious to see what the research said about them. And I have to admit, I felt a little sick and very guilty with what the research shows for spaying or neutering Goldens. Earlier research said to wait until at least two Then they extended it to three to four years. I have four Goldens, which some of you may know if you followed my podcast or know anything about me. Jazz is my oldest. She was spayed at six. For her, it was a smart move because she'd had four litters and it seemed like it really knocked uh, her endocrine system a little bit out of whack. It seemed like her thyroid really slowed down when the pregnancies were over, over. And when we did do the spaying, the vet said that he found the largest benign cyst he'd ever seen in a golden, which had caused her a lot of pain. It was an ovarian cyst. So for her, it was a good call, and we did wait until she was six. Kimmy was spayed at three and a half years, And again, the research that I had read before the study said spaying between three and four years, you're not doing any harm to your dog. Kimmy had been bred once, and we knew we were not going to breed her again. Uh, Part of it was she had a really terrible pregnancy, delivery, and she was a great mom, but her heart just wasn't into it. She was a great mom because we expected her to be a great mom, but some dogs just love being a parent, a mother, super maternal instinct. Kimmy was just greatly relieved to have it over. Also, we decided to keep one of her male puppies. So again, this is where you can run into trouble if you have intact female and male dogs in the same household, unless you have a way to keep them separate for when your females are in heat, which in my current setting, I don't have. So we did spake Kimmy. The sad thing, though, is that the research on Goldens, according to the study, shows that Goldens are basically the only breed that they recommend never spaying their females. Doing it at any age when you spay a female Golden increases the risk of certain cancers two to four times what it would be for an intact female. So we have one more girl, Rosie, who is two, and we're hoping to breed her this summer, but our plans are to never spay Rosie. Males, male Goldens, can have joint issues if you spay them too early. The recommendation on spaying a male Golden is to wait until two years, and then they found it wasn't a big deal. So Orvi, I'm sorry, buddy, but that's going to be in your future. Neutering 
in dachshunds increases the risk for disc herniation. Now, dachshunds and corgis have these super long backs. And so you run, again, the risk there because you haven't let the hormones do what they needed to do. Shepherds and labs have a great increase in joint disorders, especially in males, if neutered before two. Now, do you have to neuter? Do you have to spay? That's an excellent question. And from the research that I've seen, I think it's better to leave the dogs intact if you can. Obviously, that means that you have to be a responsible pet owner. And if you're a female's in heat, you've got to keep her away from other males for that time, especially weeks two and three. You've got to keep her clean. You can use diapers with pads. It's certainly doable. And it's really good for your dog. But again, when I looked at the research, it's not an absolute, you must do something one way or the other, except for a few breeds like the Goldens. Uh, because for many of the breeds, they felt it was owner's choice. that They didn't find, even with all that research, that there was a huge, significant difference in the dogs that are intact or the dogs that were spayed or neutered. However, I feel waiting does not hurt. So leaving a female intact uh, is certainly something I'm going to do for Rosie. Uh, again, because that's what research is showing me is going to be better for her. Norway is a very interesting country. It is actually illegal to spay or neuter dogs there. And that particular culture takes responsibility for their pets. There are no stray dogs in Norway, which is amazing when you think about our country and how many people here in the United States seem to think dogs are just a throwaway. You know, if they're too much work, get rid of them. If they're no longer a puppy, get rid of them. If they have poor behaviors, get rid of them instead of helping the dog be the best that he or she can be. I would also say that it is safest to not neuter a male until age two. And you could certainly wait longer or leave them intact. Again, just be a responsible pet owner and, and make sure that they're not around females in heat. So my feeling is when in doubt, wait. There is not a huge risk in waiting and you can cause harm by spaying or neutering too early. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast about to spay or neuter. Pause up to you. Woof woof. Thanks for joining us for another episode of A Round of a Pause produced by EduPups. You can join the EduPups community by checking out blog posts at edupups.com. Find us on social media too. We're at EduPups4 on Instagram, at EduPups on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. You can write Janine at janine at edupups.com. She would positively love to hear from you. A round of applause is copyright 2023 EduPups LLC. Let's keep those tails wagging. <laughs>